What's up guys, my name is Michael and Apple just confirmed their November ARM Mac event. So this is the November event we've all been waiting for where Apple is going to finally announce their first Mac that is switching over to Apple-based silicon. So the tagline for this event, as you can see here, is one more thing. We have a very colorful invite that Apple sent out. As per usual, it is happening at 10 a.m. Pacific time, so the time in California, but it is actually happening on November 10th. So this is a little bit of a surprise. We were expecting this to be announced um, next week, and we were expecting the event to possibly be on the 17th, but it looks like Apple announced it today because the election is tomorrow and they don't want to have any press releases on election day. So they announced it today, and the event is happening uh, as per usual on a Tuesday, November 10th. So if we see any devices announced uh, at this event, we could possibly see some new ARM Max shipping in November if Apple has the supply ready. So they could announce it on the 10th with pre-orders happening on the 13th and new Macs could possibly be shipping by the end of the month on the 20th or the 27th. So uh, that's pretty exciting. We could have some new Macs and MacBooks uh, coming by the end of this month. So the benefits of Apple Silicon would be better battery life, uh, smaller chassis, less heat inside the device, and also Apple can release Macs and MacBooks on a more consistent schedule because Intel, they're not the most reliable company and they do have some uh, production line issues and Apple is very strict with uh, their quality control. Uh, as you may remember with the i9 processor and that 16 inch MacBook Pro didn't go too well. So with Apple now making the silicon for their Macs, they control pretty much every aspect of what goes into that Mac. And I think we're gonna start seeing more consistent release schedules for the Mac, say every year or every two years, instead of the really staggered, weird release schedule that we're on right now. Now, while I think the one more thing in the tagline is definitely for Apple Silicon Macs, I don't think it's for anything big like Apple AR glasses or anything crazy like that. I don't think that's gonna be at this event uh, just because there haven't been very many leaks. I do, however, think there could be some other devices announced alongside uh, the new Apple ARM-based Mac. So possibly the one that has the most likelihood is AirTags because AirTags, according to a lot of leakers, are done and ready to ship. Uh, it's just a matter of when Apple wants to release them, when they think it's a good time in the market to release a new product like this. So AirTags are ready. We could see them in November, although there are some leakers saying that Apple might want to wait until 2021 because with some people or most people still in lockdown, you can't really go out in the real world right now. So AirTags really wouldn't be that useful. But I guess a pair of over-the-ear headphones to go with your new Mac would be pretty useful. So we have heard rumors that Apple is working on, uh, and we've actually seen leaked images of these over-the-ear AirPod Studio. Apparently Apple is going to have a lower end one at $399 and a more expensive one at around $549. And uh, these are going to sound really good. And if they have uh, better noise canceling than my AirPods Pro, I will be happy because my AirPods Pro are tiny and they're able to cancel so much noise. So I can only imagine what these huge AirPods Studio are going to be able to do in terms of noise cancellation. So I'm very excited for these, but my wallet is not excited because they're going to be very expensive. So that is pretty much it for today. That is uh, very exciting news. We definitely were not expecting Apple to announce this event this early. I want you guys to tell me in the comments below, uh, what Mac are you hoping Apple updates as their first Apple Silicon Mac? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like on it if it helped you. My name is Michael, and I'll see you in the next video.